Welcome again. So in previous tutorial, we have seen how to make uh, a recent post portion and that we have made uh, dynamic. And when we'll click in here, we are seeing that uh, it's going in Flux controller, view action, and we contain ID. So now we have to create a uh, method called uh, view in our Blox controller. So let's create this. So I'm just going in my Blox controller and here in down, I'm just creating a simple view function or view method. In this view met method, I'm passing ID and here I'm just uh, debugging or exit ID. Now after save, if you go in reload it here, you'll see the three in here. And if you just go and click here, you'll see six in here. So that means when you will send or in ID in get method, you are able to accept it in here. So, so now we will uh, use a simple query in here. Uh, so before that, we have to uh, load our model because we are in blocks controller, but our uh, table is articles table so at first we have to lo load the articles so i'm just copy this line paste it in here so this load model articles that we have loaded in here and then i'm just writing a simple uh, query and for that i'm creating a variable first a variable name i'm writing article and then writing these articles and then catfish has a method called get and for get by get you will you can fetch single data uh, using the id so if you just send the id in here and if you just debug now in here and then exit so after reload the page we should see article now yeah we are seeing the article 6 uh, title details and everything uh, which uh, corresponding article id 6 so now we have to send this in view so before that i am going to create a view for uh, this view method so uh, it will we have to create this in blocks con blocks folder in template folder there is a folder called blocks and in here i am just creating a file called view.php After created it, after create it, and then we have to send this article for our view. So I am using here this set method, and here I am using a variable called articles uh, article because this is single article, and sending this article for our view. So now if we just debug it in here using the PHP tag. I'm using the debug uh, article and then here giving exit now save and go and reload our page we are seeing the same thing but in this time we are seeing it in our uh, template blocks and view.php file so now we have to fetch it so how you can do this we just need to uh, I'm just removing this page and using a h2 tag in here and giving php tag and writing article title in here and in here i am taking a php tag a paragraph tag for article details So here I'm just pasting the same line and giving it details. Now same everything. If we go and reload our page, we are seeing the heading and we are seeing also the details in here. So design is looking very ugly, but it, but we are we understand the uh, how you can view the article details. When you click in here, you will see something like this.
so we have to do same thing for these articles when you click in here we should see the same thing like it's showing like this so this uh, uh, I think you can you are not now able to create this uh, link in here so in next tutorial uh, I will just show you how we can uh, apply read more in here so let's see the next tutorial uh, another thing uh, I just missed when you click in here you can see the ID 2 but if you remove this 2 and then hit on enter you'll see something a uh, ugly error in here but you can minimize it if you just give here ID equal to null then in this time it will give you something new this record not found exception so thank you for watching this tutorial welcome for the next tutorial